today we are going to discuss different types of lines used in engineering drawing we have earlier said or known already that engineering drawing is a technical language used by the engineers so everything that we draw in a drawing sheet indicates a particular idea so it is very important that we learn this particular thing different types of lines how uh, are indicating different notation or an idea that we draw in an engineering drawing here we can see there are set of lines that are being shown a continuous thick line continuous thin line free hand continuous line zigzag line dash line chain line so on and so forth however out of these there are few things which you are going to use in your first year of engineering so we will discuss that in detail and rest we can see in the later years in the coming years so first in the list is you have line a you can see here line a thick continuous line these are in the general application are visible lines let us have a small discussion on this for example you want to draw a simple let us say a rectangle a rectangle so to draw this rectangle we may use number of constructional methods so one such method i am using here you can just see i will take a line or a line segment ab and then i will i will construct two perpendiculars or 90 degree lines here so for that i am using one simple method draw an arc and cut two equal arcs and from these two arcs cut two intersecting arcs and then drop a perpendicular at b repeat the same procedure sorry at a repeat the same procedure at b then we have another perpendicular here now depending on the length we will cut the arcs on these two lines and then we join those two lines let me name this as a b c and d so now here if i observe to construct this particular rectangle a b c d so we have used different types of lines here first we have taken line a b and then the arcs and and then there are some intersecting arcs then there is perpendiculars that we have dropped and finally according to the length we have marked point c and point d right so the most important thing here is the rectangle ABCD although these arcs all other arcs that we are drawn to draw the rectangle are supportive but the main thing is the rectangle itself so this particular rectangle this is shown by thick continuous line continuous line all other lines that we are drawn to to construct this rectangle the construction lines all the construction lines they are drawn by thin continuous lines so this is the difference between these two and these two play a major role or the or the I mean they are very very important in understand while drawing we cannot mess up with these lines it conveys a totally different meaning so we should be very careful while drawing this thick continuous line and thin continuous line so these technically called as visible edges those edges which are visible in a particular view they are called as visible edges and all other lines be it the construction lines or let us say i want to dimension this particular rectangle all these dimension lines let us say i want to do sectioning or any other thing that we do apart from the main figure or the main drawing everything else is drawn by thin lines and the main figure itself or the main drawing itself which we call visible edges they are drawn by thick continuous lines so these two lines are very very important and then we have continuous thin free free hand and continuous thin with zigzag these things which you will not come across much in your engineering drawing and then however there is another one here i mean in the first year of engineering drawing you don't come across these things according to your syllabus so i don't want to go in detail on that so next we have line e which is dashed thick line which is used for hidden outlines so i'll take a simple example again here to explain that let us say i have a three dimensional object let us say i have a cuboid like this or you can consider this as any other body so now i have a through hole in the top of it 
and now I'm observing observing this body in this particular direction this is the directional view or the front view so now when I draw this orthographic projection of this particular body or the projections when I draw the drawing uh, on my drawing sheet I'm drawing the front view so in the front when I see from the front I can see this part basically so that is what I'm indicating drawing here so this comes under orthographic views which you are going to learn in your later chapters but just to give an understanding of the different types of lines that we are using I am showing this so now let me call this as this uh, this let us say this is a b c and d the front of it so we will indicate this by a dash b dash c dash and d dash don't worry about these things these are the notations that are used however in the front view when I see this particular hole that is shown here it is not visible in the in the front view but the hole is existing that has to be shown in the front view so now to indicate this hole which is not visible to me in this particular view I draw this by using lines called as dashed lines so that is the main purpose of this so dashed lines are used to indicate hidden edges so this hole that we have seen in this example it is hidden from our view from our view so that is shown by the da dashed lines dashed lines these are dashed lines to show hidden edges so whereas we are using a continuous line to show visible edges and we are using thin lines continuous line to show constructional lines or any other lines that support the main drawing so these are the three lines which you come across mostly in your first year of drawing and next then you have something called as chain line you can see here line G sorry chain chain thin line so it is used to draw center lines lines of symmetry trajectories so on and so forth so this line sometimes shown as here however it is shown as dash small dash and a long dash but however sometimes this line will be shown as dash dot dash dot dash so this is chain line I can write it as dash dot chain line okay this is used for center lines or axis lines you all know what is an axis it is an imaginary line passing through the center of a solid it's an imaginary line okay lines of symmetry so we can use any of the lines we can use dash dot or we can use dash a long dash and a small dash long dash and a small dash and a long dash so on okay both of these are some of the textbooks follow the first one and some of the follow the later ones both of the standards no either you use this or that both are correct so these are some of the lines which we come across in the first year of engineering drawing of all this of all these you must be very careful or very particular while following this continuous thick line and continuous thin line whether it is straight or curved you can see here so where all the places the thin line is used imaginary lines dimension lines projection lines leader lines hatching lines outlines of revolve sections in place short center lines okay but only thick line is used just for visible edges the main drawing you can see in other words understand thick line and thin line so this generally dark line and light line however in engineering drawing language you call this thick and thin this thick line doesn't mean you will draw with your pencil a number of times it should be single stroke line please remember and I insist my students to use HB pencil to draw a thick line and a 2H pencil to draw a thin line so it, it make works easier once we get practice over the period of time then it doesn't matter which pencil you use I mean which HP pencil you use you should not use 2H however so these are the things that we want to discuss and of all of all these things please uh, remember most important is thick line and thin line that makes all the difference in your drawing two students may be drawing everything perfectly all the construction and everything perfect but if they mess up with thick lines and thin lines then they lose their marks thank you all